Hello and welcome to my sketchbook flip through. As you may or may not know, I'm an art major at a community college and this is my sketchbook from my drawing two class. And we actually hand made these on our first day with paper and like this hard cardboard and string and a needle and an ice pick to poke through the paper and the cardboard. Cardboard? <laughs> and the cardboard and we were tasked to draw in them every single day for 100 days because it's 100 sheets of paper and we're gonna go through them today so it's not really a disclaimer but i do want to let you know that a bunch of these drawings are of my cat ming because for the first 21 days our my professor suggested that if we can't figure out what to draw every day to draw something draw the same thing every day um i chose my cat ming because as a pet owner I have thousands of pictures and videos of her, so it was not hard to find references. So let's just get started. So as I said before, I chose to draw my cat Ming, and I actually never drew animals before, and it was really fun, and obviously drawing every day helped me improve, and you can see that as you flip through them. And you might also notice that there's little numbers on the corners of each page, and that's because the total drawings we needed by the end of the semester were 100. So I wanted to keep track of that, and so I added page numbers. So half of these are her sleeping, and then the other half are making a silly face. Is, and if you if you guys own a cat or have cats, you know if they, you turn around, they're doing something funky, especially this close up I took of her. These two are my favorite because there's just so much detail and it just looks exactly like her when I added all the shading for all her different colors. We're not sure what kind of cat she is. We think she's a calico mix because some calicos have all those little spots and different colors, but who knows. Once the first 21 days were up, I didn't know what else to draw so I just went to Pinterest and I also did a mix of just like drawing faces I could come up with and still drawing Ming because I was having a lot of fun doing it so I wanted to keep doing it. And then I decided to draw the other cats that we have in the house. This is Crimson, he's a big fat black cat and he's super cuddly. And then these are the two boys, Nino and Crimson. And because he's so fat, this is what he looks like from above. <laughs> And then I got inspired by Pinterest again to draw more portraits, and I started to use my colored pencils more. This rainbow one is a favorite of mine because I love the colors and how it all blended out and stuff. So here are a few entries for Inktober, but I did not like most of them, so I did not keep going. Again, my professor suggested that we should do Inktober, but I was not having fun with it. So this colored pencil grid was an assignment that we had to do in class where we had a few colors to work with and we had to figure out how they blended together with each color, which was really helpful for some of my next drawings because I figured out what colors look good, what shading look good on top of each other. Do y'all remember this gal? This is my first YouTube video. This was also my first time using colored pencils, like, professionally. I had no idea what I was doing throughout, but I'm so happy with the results. And then I tried it again. Didn't like this one that much, but, but you know, just practice. There were some points in time of using the sketchbook where I waited a few days to draw in them, and then I had, like, five drawings to fill up, and then I just kind of put whatever in there and... Most of them I'm not that happy with, but 
As long as there was something on the page and looked okay, I was fine with it. The one on the left is also a favorite of mine just because of all the colors. So the reason these are all spaced out really weird is because I've noticed when closing the book and coming back to it that whatever was on one page gets smudged onto the next page, like color pencil or even pencil. So I tried to prevent that. This is where I tried experimenting using two pages at the same time, but the same drawing. I just really wanted to try something different. I've seen people really experiment and like do cutouts with their sketchbooks and I thought that was really cool and unfortunately I couldn't, I don't think I could have done this with this one because there's always something on the other side of the page. In this drawing two class we spent maybe a month doing figure drawings and um, figure studies, so I wanted to keep practicing on my own of doing poses, poses, <laughs> of drawing poses, what are you saying? <laughs> of drawing poses, there we go. Oh god, I hate these two pages, I wanted to try using my Crayola marker so bad, but it did not turn out how I wanted it to, so I was left with these. Okay, so ignore the one on the left, but this is where it starts to get better. So a few days before I drew these, we were drawing each other in class. Like, just sitting in front of- across from each other and just like, drawing them. And it was so awkward, but they all they all turned out really good, and I really liked them, and I was like, well, I gotta do this for my sketchbook, because I love drawing portraits anyway. So I just found a bunch of people on Pinterest, and I drew all these beautiful people, and it was really fun, and I- I, I wanted to include color and I had all these highlighters and I just did like a little background. On the left I wanted to draw something real so I asked my boyfriend if I could draw him and he let me. And I somehow ended up making him look like an anime character. I'm not sure how that happened. And then I started to draw Ming again. I just couldn't figure out what else to do. It was There was a few days left in the sketchbook and I thought I should bring him back to the beginning and draw Ming again. And if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok or you see my YouTube shorts, you saw how I drew this one on the left and I came back and added some color because I felt like I needed color to make it pop. And again, you might have also seen both of these, and I also added color to the left one as well. And after all those portraits, since we're coming to an end, I wanted to add more color. Color is fun. And I didn't use my color pencils that much, and I wanted to here. So we were handed this little sheet of paper, and we're supposed to keep it for the rest of the year because we're going to be also drawing in it every day, every class day. And before class started, there would be a little box with like a little trinket or a little piece of candy or an item for us to draw. Like they were all small, so these are all pretty much the size. Well, I tried to make them to size, and we we're supposed to draw them as realistic as we could using only colored pencils. I tried to get them as realistic as I could, especially with the shading, and personally, this little uh, umbrella is my favorite. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite page in my sketchbook, and which one of these little items is your favorite too. And that was my sketchbook flip through. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked my art. Please let me know what you think, and let me know what else I should do next. Thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.